So, you are coming to Maastricht to study, or more specifically, to the Faculty of Health, Medicine and Life Sciences. Let me give you my top 10 tips to make your transition here smoother. Number one. So first, you have to find your way to the campus. The campus is at Maastricht Randwijk, next to a little train station. There are three buildings, UNS 40, 50 and 60. Those buildings are right next door to the academic hospital. So if you walk out of the university, you directly walk into the hospital. And on the other side of the road, there is the university sports center. Number two, learn the lingo. The buildings are called UNS 40, UNS 50 and UNS 60. UNS stands for the name of the street, Universiteitsing. The Dutchies say UNS and the international students say UNS. In UNS 40, you will find the Mensa. This is just a fancy name for a student canteen. We students call the city of Maastricht, Masi or Maasje. And when saying goodbye, you have to do it like the locals do by saying hoi hoi. Number three. How to get to campus? Buy a bike. You can buy a bike on all kinds of different Facebook groups and you can also go to stores where they sell bikes. The prices are usually around 50 euros. Uh, and don't forget to get a good lock. Number four. Where to park your new ride? Well, not there. You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually not a bike shed. This is a beautiful piece of art about Greek philosophers. University guards will remove your bike while you're in class. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, just put it there or in the cellar under UNS40. Quick, your tutorial is about to start in five minutes. Number five, where to find your timetable. You can see your timetable in the student portal. It's available two weeks before lessons start and you can see it 24 seven on your phone. Number six, where to get affordable books. Most books you need are available in the UNS 50 at the University Library. And the books that you need to buy, you can get with a discount from the student associations. Don't worry about how to find them, they will find you during the introduction. Number seven, food and drinks to get you through the day. Several places where you can sit down for a drink and a bite to eat. Most of them have sockets so you can study and fuel up at the same time. There is the Mensa for meals and snacks, the Bakery Cafe with good coffee and outdoor seating in summer, Banditos with organic food and drinks, Rivaza at the UM Sports Center, and a small shop fast forward near the library. But be sure to bring your wallet because it isn't cheap. Let's go to number eight. How to get Wi-Fi. First, you'll need your phone. Just go to your Wi-Fi settings, turn it on, look for the Wi-Fi network, Aduro. Fill in your login credentials, your e-number and your password, and that's all you need. Almost there, number nine. Good places for studying. Of course, you can study at home, but some students prefer to study at the university library. Here you can find books, but you can also drink a coffee with your friends. You can also study at the university sports center where you can overlook sports facilities. And the last one. Number 10, study related questions. For questions about your timetable, exam rules, studying abroad, grades and stuff like that, you can go to the education office or contact them via Ask FHMO. Now it's my turn. Here are the four bonus points for international students. So if you're planning to go home, I would advise you to go to Eindhoven Airport, which is like an hour from Maastricht. Otherwise, you can go to Brussels, which is also not that far. Otherwise, you could go to the furthest airport, which is in Amsterdam. And if you're lucky, you can also walk around and see that beautiful city. There are several banks you can go and open a bank account. For example, you have uh, Rabobank, ABN AMRO or ING, which is my favorite because it's very good with international students because you don't need a social security number to open a bank account. If you're planning to travel around the Netherlands a lot, I would recommend you to take an OV year card, which gives you a 40% discount on every travel you make. Otherwise, you can take a day card, which you can buy in the supermarkets. If not, you can just buy a standard ticket in the station. Enjoy the ride. Let's talk about phone companies. In order to have internet connection and make calls, you can use your home country provider if you are from the European Union. However, other students prefer to use a Dutch company. And in fact, you can find many stores around the city center, such as Vodafone, T-Mobile and KPM. I hope this video was useful. Hope to see you soon. Hoi hoi!